Previously, I made a video where I tested the minimum burn rate on my Regency I-1500 wood burning fireplace insert to compare it to the EPA test results. Now the EPA test for this unit was performed with crib wood and the minimum burn rate in the test was 0.97 kilograms of dry wood per hour. The maximum burn rate is 1.71 kilograms of dry wood per hour. What I'm going to do in this video is repeat the test, only this time I'm going to go for the maximum burn rate. So what we're going to do is load the insert with wood, then I'm going to leave the air wide open as it gets hot enough to engage the catalyst. I will do that and then we will leave the air control wide open for the duration of the test and we'll time and see how long the unit burns. I have here 10 pounds of red oak, and this is from the same batch of red oak that I used for the other tests. It's about three years dry at this point. So it's, it's well-seasoned cordwood. So we're gonna load 10 pounds of red oak into the unit, and we're just gonna let it burn and time it and see how we stack up in terms of burn rate at the maximum end. And what I'm hoping to see is first, how different the burn rate is from minimum to maximum, and also how it compares to the EPA test results. Because it doesn't seem to me like this unit has very much control over the fire. So I just wanna see how much control I really have in my setup. Temperatures today are in the mid 20s, so it is warmer than when I did that prior test. The other thing is the wind is not blowing today very much at all, and there was more wind when I did that other test. So those two things together mean that the draft may not be quite as strong today as it was when I did that prior test. So we do have a different environmental condition here, but we'll go ahead and see what happens. The stove is nice and warm. It's been burning. And we'll stir up these coals and load her up. So, these pieces aren't that big, but we got 10 pounds of red oak here. We'll close this up and let her rip. This was loaded at 11.05, it's almost 11.25 right now, temperature's up to 450 on that cat probe, and so my experience, that means we can go ahead and engage that, and as I do that, the temperature is now over 500, and that'll uh, keep going up because that cat was active.
It is now 1.30 and this looks to me to be about burned down. So let's open the door and stir that up and take a look. Yep, that's about the same as what we had before. And if you wanted to reload the stove, now would be the time if you didn't want to struggle a whole lot with getting it to catch. So, the wood was put in here at 11.05. It didn't really catch and get going until 11.15. And now it's 1.30. So we're looking at two hours and 25 minutes, maybe two and a quarter hours of uh, burn out of this, 10 pounds of oak. So I'll do the analysis for two hours and two and a half hours since we seem to be somewhere in that vicinity. And we'll see how the numbers work out. All right, so I crunched the numbers on this with a two hour burn time and a two and a half hour burn time with wood moisture contents at 20% and at 15%. I didn't have a moisture meter, so I didn't measure the exact moisture content of the wood. However, that oak has been undercover for a couple of years and it's been about three years since it was cut, split and stacked. So. I'm pretty confident that the moisture content on it is between 15 and 20 percent. So if we go ahead and run the numbers here, we put in those moisture contents, we put in a burn time of two hours, and at a burn time of two hours with 20 percent moisture, that's 1.89 kilograms per hour dry. And if it were two and a half hours, that is 1.52 kilograms per hour dry for an average of about 1.7 kilograms per hour dry wood. Going to 15% moisture content at two hours, we're looking at 1.98 kilograms per hour dry, and at two and a half hours, we're looking at 1.58 kilograms per hour dry for an average of around 1.78 kilograms per hour dry basis. Now, these numbers, again, 1.7 to 1.78, that's only a 5% difference on changing that moisture content, so it's not having a huge effect. But the big kicker here is the EPA test results for the max burn rate, 1.71 kilograms per hour dry basis. The numbers I just got are essentially spot on to within 5% of that result. In contrast, when I did my test for the minimum burn rate, I was getting numbers that are 20 to 25% higher than the EPA test result. So the EPA test minimum burn rate, 0.97 kilograms per hour dry basis. And my test results suggest 1.2 to 1.25 kilograms per hour dry basis. So, that's 20 to 25 percent different versus maybe five percent different to spot on this suggests to me that there might actually be something up with the unit otherwise that's a pretty significant difference in terms of having additional draft through the chimney due to environmental factors at least it seems that way to me so just to wrap up what we're seeing here with the max burn rate test is that my results match up pretty well with the EPA test results. That's a little surprising given what happened with the minimum burn rate test. If it were an issue with strong draft, I was expecting to have a higher burn rate than this on max draft through the stove. But because I had similar to the EPA test results, it seems that maybe something's going on on the lower end with the air control. So that wraps up this max burn rate test. Hopefully you found this interesting. I certainly did through the process of doing the minimum and the maximum burn rate tests. And hopefully that helps you if you're thinking about buying a wood insert.